It's the first game of Akaden today, so we don't know. Uh, you know, but I would say we've seen Vienna. Vienna has played already again. Uh, Castores and lost 8-0. So knowing Akaren, Akaren has won also the Champions Cup. If you think that it could be an old favorite, uh, normally statistic would be in favor of Akaren. Also about 5 to 8 goals, I would say so. And this is uh, 11 o'clock and this is the last Last game, game of the day. Tomorrow we start at 8 o'clock and the first game is Peter against Swedish. The Swiss uh, team today didn't have any game. Uh, and tomorrow we will have 30 games in a row, um, which will take, uh, well... Twice as much as today. Yes, uh, from 8 o'clock till uh, midnight. So be prepared, we are. Already did our shopping and... Uh, we have a lot of bananas here. Yeah, we Some Haselnussschnitte. We're not sponsored by Hanuta. <laughs> to get money to do <laughs> publicity. Um, all right, let's see. Seven seconds, and the game should start any minute now. Referees are almost underwater. Ball is in the middle of the pool. We see the Norwegian girls of Akaren. So um, I think this uh, this this game is uh, uh, definitely in in favor of Akaden. Um, Norway is a strong. Yeah! And, and this is a, a Malmo <laughs> player. Oh, come 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 come. Come come on come on come on come, 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 come. This is a Malmo player here with us. Uh, we do have a microphone no, somewhere. No. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> They're happy. So it was a good fight. <laughs> Otherwise, they wouldn't be this happy. <laughs> good. So he was running all the way from the pool in the, in the backyard of this pool area, which is quite a distance. Um, so, yeah, quite happy, and he will have a good sleep, which is uh, very nice. And it's, it's funny, it's really good to see these faces, uh, happy player faces. Even those sometimes who lose the games are um, happy to, uh, if they just participate and uh, have a good game. And uh, especially for uh, Australia with the first international tournament, um, it's a super, super exciting uh, thing to be part of this whole tournament. All right. Let's see our last game. Puka Taka Taka Tu. Who was that? I think it was... That was uh, Norway. Really? Yes. Ah. All right. Yes, Probably yes, it, yes. Had a, it had a special meaning. I knew once, but I forgot. Really? Yeah, Betty. It, well, Betty used to play with us in Berlin. Uh, true, true. I remember. Yeah, yeah I remember her. Betty. Yep. Uh. So... Mira was in Finland. I mean, I've played with a lot of these girls on the same team against each other. And, you know, 15 years later, 10 years later, we're still here. I'm, I'm not playing, but I'm commenting. That's the next step on the chain of just bringing something back to the community, right? So, let's see. The game should start any minute now. I have to admit I'm a little bit exhausted right now. Um, yeah, my brain is half cooked right now. <laughs> okay, back in the game. Here we are. Uh, Akaren from Norway in blue and uh, Vienna from uh, yeah. Austria I mean in white. Yes, already, okay. Whoa. So, uh, 13. This is a new record. 13 seconds, yes. So, Nasut is out. Akaren with 13 seconds. Is the fastest score of the Champions Cup so far, and I don't think they're going to be defeated. 13 seconds is quite a record. So um, they have very experienced players, and uh, they are really very very good team. So and what they what have we some of the yeah. national players that played last year in Cali as well. 
and you can see it in the movement, the way they, they move forward. It's just like uh, this flow they, they bring into the attack, into the attack pattern. And already we're at the basket of uh, Austria again. And yeah, this is going to be 15-0, something yeah, like this. Yeah. And if Germany don't wake up a little bit, they're going to have it very difficult to win against I think Saturn. so too, yes. yes. Okay, second score. Yes. Because um, they, you can see from the minute one, they are pretty much awake and they are just, you know, on top of the game and just playing their game. And this didn't happen and with Langen today. Yeah, and uh, um, Vienna is overrun by by the by the by the speed, yeah, the speed of the play, the the the, the strength, the uh, the team play, the, the team play, yeah. the intelligence, the analysis of the and game. And here we go Look, again. I mean they come in, it yeah. By the defense. And they are already waiting yeah. here. Account and his uh, players are already waiting all around the I basket. Think it's, it's going to be a goal per minute, something like this. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's easy for them uh, to break through the defense of Vienna, and uh, they know how to score. So if they are through, they just uh, know where to push to to score. And we already have a three-zero. Um, Christian is asking uh, what the biggest upset and the best performance during the well, day. Well, let's say in this in this game we and, and then afterwards. And, and the break, yeah, the yeah. in the three or minutes the we yeah. can have the, the few um, surprises of the day. So, um, Akaren uh, already in the half and uh, they are already waiting at the basket, over the basket uh, for the players. Two players from uh, Akaren almost fight for the ball to score. Um, and, uh, and that's typical. I mean, they, they attack very well from above and also from yeah, the side. Yeah, here we go. I mean, in, in the change of the goalkeepers. You can, you, you can tell every player can attack and yes. know exactly what yes. they're doing. And this is what you need to have if you want a, a successful uh, team. I mean, it's just... Yeah. Yeah. So um, we have seen uh, in, in the previous games that, you know, a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one Fight and yeah. n nothing happened because they didn't know what they're doing. These girls know exactly uh, what they're doing, how to do it. Uh, so they yeah. just need to have contact with the goalkeeper, and it's going to be a goal. Yes, that's it. And they they break through easily. They build. Well, I'm their talking their in this case against Vienna because if you have a very experienced goalie, then that's not that easy. But in this case, yeah, with the experience that yeah. Austria has, they again. have no okay. chance. Call from the referee. Uh, free throw against uh, Akaren. Um, let's see how uh, Austria. Oh, th that was the, the first ball contact and already uh, problems uh, keeping the ball in possession. Um, and the, the pressure Akaren puts on uh, Austria doesn't does not look um, uh, aggressive. It's just a very uh, dominant uh, uh, way to control the game. Now we have uh, Austria in the close corner of, uh, uh, of the Norwegian basket. And uh, they try to get to, to control the ball but lose it in a forward checking play. And here goes Akaren. They just overswim uh, the forward-checking defense. Wow! Well now they, the 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 Austrian def the, uh, even succeeded in um, stealing the ball away. But it, it you see the process of movement is too slow um, for <coughs> for Austria to compete with Akaren. It's uh, even though they 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 snatch away balls, they cannot keep them in possession. Now we are back again. Um, at the Austrian basket and uh, Akaren is uh, attacking in waves now from the close side, open side, pulling away the goalkeeper and uh, they do it quite right in going in, uh, probing the, the attack. Um, and, oh, and here it was a classical mistake. The ball and then they, you see the moment one of them got the ball then they 
the other one is already there to yeah. get the yeah. pass and do. But look, great counter attack from Austria. Yeah. That has been really. I mean, they they saved the, the that goal, and now you have, well, one against you. That was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't have. That. But the 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 the, 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 the game dominance is definitely belongs to. Um, to a cannon to Norway. Yes. So I don't hear myself anymore. Now we have uh, a cannon right underneath the goalie of the Austrian team. The Austrian are trying to fight and keep it away, but it's a very risky situation. Uh, they, are, they have a, you know, it's quite chaotic. Every now and then they get into position and they can't defend properly. But the moment uh, Norway does a second or third away, they are completely all over the place. And then... Um, so the call from can, the referee. Score, yeah. Call from the referee, free throw against um, Karen again. And uh, you're watching Champions Cup 2016. And uh, free throw against Karen uh, in this game, Austria against Norway. And we just saw uh, uh, the one of the Austrian players try to catch away, steal away the basket, but the Karen is already in the counter attack again. And uh, we have three Norwegians attacking, and there's no way. I mean, the, <laughs> the poor goalie of the Austrian team has no chance. Uh, they are very passive, you know. Um, they are lying on, on the on the basket and they are not really moving around or just fighting with the hands or doing something pushing the attackers away I mean that you know shows how inexperienced they are so we have uh, one uh, um, almost two minutes left in this first half a car in Vienna and Akarin is leading 5-0. And uh, they are looking good for scoring one other before the end of the first half. They always come in uh, either trying to steal the basket or waiting on the other side of the basket for the ball carrier to, to swim over and bring them the ball. They are already three against and the defender just barely made it to the position. Uh, however, I'm surprised that sometimes they get into position uh, with the with the with the mm, back on the floor. Normally, you should be always with your belly on the floor. It doesn't matter if you're waiting mm. the, the the ball from a. You just look, move your head, because then it's so um, not possible to score if you are you know lying on your back it just takes longer it's not as effective as if you are uh, already in position to, to be able to put a, a knee on on the floor and push the goalie away 40 seconds yeah. left in this uh, last game of the day um, in the first half and it's 6-0 for uh, Norway and I don't think we will see any surprises in this game and uh, the way the current plays here I think they're definitely um, one of the top teams, yes. top women teams in the Champions yes. Cup. And the, the, uh, the German team is going to have a difficult... Yes, in, in this... If they, if, I mean, they can win, but they need to be on the game from yeah. the start, and yeah. they cannot do what they did today. Yeah. But it's going to be a tight game. Yeah. Okay. So, sixth six year in the first half. And three minutes. So, so Christian, you ask us about. Uh, what uh, do we think about the big surprises? Well, or my my biggest surprise was. Uh, um, Australia. Yeah, the, in right. the positive side, uh, Australia, uh, how they uh, did win against uh, Austria, and uh, they in all the other games, even they did not win, they made a really good job, uh, defending, attacking and being in the game, game concentrated. Like we said, we played against them on Wednesday and um, it was the first time they played together. So they were super happy to play with us and have time as a team to play together. So very great performance. My uh, biggest surprise on the 
I don't say negative side, but I was really surprised by uh, Ege. Um, I really thought uh, uh, they are more in the game, which uh, against whom it was Flipper. Yeah. Uh, Flipper is strong. Um, I think uh, Christian will agree. Um, but I thought uh, Ege put in more of a fight or uh, has more chances and it No, it did, I mean, they didn't really play very concentrated. Remember no. they were talking about yep. it? I mean, yep. you thought they were going to be more concentrated, but at the end uh, you were a bit surprised. And my second surprise as well was uh, the USA against Malmö, that it was such a tight game, that Malmö just barely made it. That was a second surprise also. And from, uh, the, from the girls, uh, Langen didn't impress me. No, I mean, they didn't have a good day today. Yeah, well, just like I, I mean, said, um, I played against Christian them. asked for the day, so... Uh, I know, I know, um, I know. Yeah. I was surprised as well because uh, I play against them in the league and they can do much better than that. We all have bad days, right? <laughs> Ask your... <laughs> some, in, in some... Uh, Training, he would, uh, would go out of there, just all pulling his head. Like, what did you do? You, you knew how to play, you forgot it. <laughs> anyway, so that's our uh, input on that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, um, I'm curious about Ege uh, tomorrow. Um, how they will play? Do we already have a, a game for what? For Ege tomorrow. Here it's against Zurich. Yes. Uh, tomorrow, quite uh, far it. in the day. Mm. So let's see how they. Well, Zurich shouldn't be a challenge for Ege. You, yeah, you never know. Um, you never know. Not. But the statistics and the history of Champions Cup shows that Zurich normally was among the last places. Okay. So I don't want to be bad. I'm just talking about last what we know. Last uh, half of the day, and uh, in the game, Akaren uh, against Vienna. Yeah, with which precision they, they do the passes, and they are yeah, they move with the ball, without the ball. They they are all very. Um, yeah, they are really big. in the game. <laughs> yeah, and have long arms, long legs, and you know they are and they all over the place. The right combination of of uh, team play, of uh, knowledge, um, experience, yeah, skill. Yeah. Um, to execute, like you said, every one of them can score. Every one of them uh, seems to be a fast swimmer. So as a team, they work really they, they well can together. They swim fast, do counters, attack, score, defend. I think it's like you have, like they're all clones. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. The, it looks like. I mean, they even uh, <laughs> physically. So. And um, another attack on the open side. Um. And you know, this is something that some of the women team needs to learn. This just going in, and if it doesn't work, yeah, go going out. out. Yes, with start ball. again. And uh, the yes, same pattern. Ma Marcel is playing for Zurich, um, Christian. York, what should we ask you? Everything. York knows everything, so we can ask him everything. What shall I eat? Um, after the last game, York, tell me. Please. Give me a smile. Me? No, I asked York what I should eat uh, after the last game. I don't know what I'm hungry of. And he said, ask me. And I want, I want a smile. <laughs> so, call from the referee on the surface. Free throw against a Karen. So we have a fight on the surface. Uh, the um, Austrian player tries to get rid of the uh, uh, Norway attacker, Look, but the ball drops down. We have a counter attack of three but a counter player three position. punch through uh, the defense but our make the pass down to the partner yeah it was very and well done so yeah. one was stop one of them was stopped the got two three two uh, Norwegians down and then the goalkeeper alone I mean 
they do it great because they pull the defenders and the and the, and the attackers back i mean up and they still yeah. can always pass down so they distract the players pull them away from the goal and then you have the goalie with two attackers so they do you know it's great what they're doing and to keep the ball the position of the ball in such a close proximity having the other team okay agree austria is not a strong team and they're not experienced so of course you can do that uh, the question would be if they can achieve the same with an experienced but team like yeah. uh, Germany. Germany have also experienced... Uh, Time out. Yeah. Germany has also experienced uh, national team players that play against those same uh, players from Akaren in the past. So they're both experienced, they both know how to play. Yes. The, the, f the funny thing is, um, if you compare the, the game of uh, Langen against Newark, with the game of Akaren against uh, Vienna. Um, Akaren plays their game. They go, they go through their system, even if they don't have a strong resistance. But Langen didn't do very well in, in um, imprinting their playing no, system no, on no, Vienna. They were doing yeah. like alone. I mean, they were yeah. playing, each player was a little bit alone, forgetting that it's a team game. Yeah, so uh, I think Akaren is quite... Uh, um, has a good chance to win this uh, uh, Champions Cup um, because Langen is the, in my opinion, the only real challenge here. Um, well, the Castores. Nasut, uh, I mean. Okay. Yeah. Nasut true. did a good job. So I'm. I also think Nasut did a bit weaker, but they play very good as a team. So you don't know. Uh, I mean, in the constellation, if if Nasut has a good day and Langen had a bad day, or. It could happen, you know, I mean, but I also would say Germany is maybe the first uh, really challenge for Norway and second uh, Finland, but I don't think that Colombia, I mean, I don't know. What do you think about Colombia, the Castores? Another goal for... Do you for think that they could be a challenge? Well, you, you, we haven't seen them really um, being again. challenged. Yeah. yeah, I think they're very experienced and they're very hungry. Yeah. Um, but my guess is against uh, Akaren they would lose because Akaren is physical uh, uh, and as a team more has more at the edge. Probably. Yeah. So here we are back again. Three. Um, uh, Akaren. Uh, can almost stay at the basket of uh, Vienna and even though they do from time to time uh, steal away some uh, they, you balls. Know, the, the Austrians don't have a chance. The moment they recover the ball yeah. they barely can swim yeah. away from the yeah. goal. It's, uh, it's like a machine. The current yes. works like a machine. It reminds me, you know, it reminds me of, of uh, yeah, of uh, Berlin. The uh, times of the Berlin team when yeah. we uh, when when the, the TC uh, um, Berlin um, yeah, the years women's that we team always won the, the Champions Cup. But well, you know, every team has cycles. You have better years. Uh, Absolutely. And we are now in a low-profile year. <laughs> 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 Let's call it like that. Uh, I mean, I play against Akaren. But is it the I same team? Are the same t same, same, t same uh, players or? Uh, a lot of them, yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm curious how they will uh, um, play because here they really play a, a, a nice uh, team system with a lot of um, control, and they can act as as uh, they want to. Um, I'm interested how they. Uh, Deal, for example, with the Castores. When, when, what is the next uh, game of uh, Akaren tomorrow? I don't know. Here, why Castores. Oh, they play against the Castores tomorrow. Um. So three minutes left, three minutes forty left in this game. Nine zero for Akaren and I think that they can do maybe four goals more, three to four. But what I'm surprised is that they didn't really break Austria. I mean it's not that they have the turning point with uh, 
Austria cannot cannot defend anymore and they are doing goals every yeah, 30 seconds. They the just keeping at the same intensity, the same rhythm, yes. you know? Yes, and, and uh, Akaron doesn't break them. They play uh, so so uh, clean. No, no, they, no. They just like, like, like this, it's just like... Uh, I know, but what I mean is I'm, I'm surprised how much of a fight the Austrian girls are playing there because they keep up like with the same intensity defending the same level that where they started it. And so that, that speaks good for them, for them. I mean, that's a compliment. Okay, it's sincere, but still, you know, young team, have no experience whatsoever, never been in a uh, World Cup, European, I mean, that's two, three years old. They barely made it to Mülheim, you know, and the Ruhr, this uh, tournament that we have in Germany, also the oldest one in the world about rugby. So they can practice and improve, and they, they, they're doing a good job. But it takes time to grow uh, and to learn and, and, and to get the the, um, uh, the experience and the game uh, from uh, the Norwegian girls. Here we go again. There is another score for Akadem. Uh, uh, look, Christian, I don't know what you're talking about. This is all a big lie. Just ask uh, Darrell why he's saying that. I don't, so, uh, I don't say anything about it. Uh, we can talk privately about it, but uh, for a Karen, it's um, and just then ridiculous. We have one thirty um, left for the game, and this is the very last one and a half minutes uh, of the last game of the day. This is the game number sixteen, and tomorrow we'll have thirty more games. And uh, it's quite late here in uh, Berlin. We have uh, 11.30, almost 11.30 in the night. And um, Tomorrow we start at 8, so yes. we barely sleep like 5 or 6 hours, if we're lucky. Yeah, if that's, more than, th home, that's more than this night. <laughs> yeah. So, 11.0, let's see if... So 40 seconds, 47 seconds left. Um, and it's 11 0. It's really nice to see how the Norwegians play. Yeah. I, I really like the styles they bring. It's clean. And it's and a it's really clean, clean way to play on a water rugby. Even though they are winning 11 0, it's an interesting game to watch. It's not that yeah. it's, you know, they're not hammering against the, the goal. They are just doing their way, attacking, always with three, uh, counter-attacking, don't just leave it an inch without uh, four checking. And this, this, you know, getting all the, the players um, of Austria up and pass down so Here they we go. can have a free goalie. I mean, just nice. Okay. This was the last game of the day. Um, 11-0 for Akadem. Um, well, two questions in the chat, um, Jörg, uh, yes, I think it will be pizza, uh, thank you, and um, Niklas, yeah, we have a service camera, we have to talk to our tech team why they don't switch it in uh, in between a, a little bit more, there is a service camera, um, we we have to talk to the... Uh, we have also a microphone and see... Yeah, you see. hear you hear the sound from the background. Probably uh, you should hear it, but we have a um, surface camera, and uh, it's not that often switched in uh, as uh, uh, I would like to see it. But uh, we ask the ticket teams. This evening, and see how to miss new here, uh, software cameras and everything. So you know, um, um, if if you ever organized a tournament, and I had a little talk to Gabriele, who was the f who does the Fiera Firenze Cup, uh, is that yeah, tournaments are always like a big box of chocolate. You don't know <laughs> what you got. For us, comes yeah, that, it, not it's Gabriele. <laughs> 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 but it really is. Uh, you always face new challenges uh, from from. From sides, you, you, you have the 10th the uh, tournament you organize, and still you're confronted with new challenges you never heard of before. Um, 
from the organization of the pool uh, to the people to whatever. Um, we had uh, when we had the game against uh, um, Australia, we had trouble with the pool staff because they didn't want to let in so many people. We had. Uh, uh, U21 from Colombia with us, and we had Australian people with us, and uh, it was really difficult for us to, uh, to persuade them to let the people in because they said, oh, well, they are not from your team, we have uh, uh, insurance problems, and uh, that's something you face uh, quite a lot if you organize tournaments, and there are always new things to consider so surface camera we will take care of it uh, yes, sure Nicholas <laughs> I will ask the techies about the surface camera <laughs> I would like to see a little bit more of there too I am strong Jörg I'm looking forward to you I'm to not, have I'm you I'm here I'm looking forward to see you I'm not looking forward to be sitting between the two of you so y between the two of you talking that's not going to be placed for me that's a lot to say I will, I will get a six-pack of uh, beer for us, so we both can relax and <laughs> talk about the games. Looking forward to it. All right, I think that's it for today. Uh, we get our stuff together, drive home, um, cook with the Colombians in our home, <laughs> and uh, maybe have a beer and, and uh, talk, to them, uh, bed, talk yeah. to them about the day which is quite interesting to yeah, let's uh, see what we can find out and information exactly from so the player perspective uh, we have still uh, some 240 people in the chat uh, and online so hello world good night everybody thanks for watching us hope you enjoyed our commentaries and uh, we start tomorrow here in Berlin at 8 o'clock um, hope uh, to see you all again Lorena say goodbye Adiós, Colombia. Vielen Dank für Zuschauen. Merci beaucoup pour voir notre transmission. Und vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen hier in dem Chat. Und bis morgen. Danke sehr. Ciao.